Hello and welcome, my name is Duo the Dutch and welcome to part 3 of the adventure log. Today I will continue the only adventure that I started in Azuna. Now, things haven't changed really that much, I did some uh, little few things in Dalaran and afterwards I returned back to the Blue Dragonflight, who was having a bit of an, um, well you could say a health concern with their oldest member. Probably the last real old one that they've got left. So the problem is, is it seems that the magic that they use to sustain them uh, seems to be drying up for some reason, or it doesn't seem to be working as well as they do. So we've been asked to, of course, if we can help out. At the same time, though, they are willing to already tell us about who knows about, about you know, the Tide Stone of Golgonath. Case being is, of course, it seems like a bit of a dickish move to, you know leave them in this kind of unfortunate state so come on being the good guys we decide it's only natural that I help out the best I can so they want us to get to the well plants where they're apparently having a little bit of an issue with a certain type of well um, let's say called a mentally deranged is the best case just you know they're not exactly in their right minds basically they barely have any of that left so we are sent along the way to find out. I will make this clear, this is still recording from a stream, so you might find some in-game commentary from myself when I went through this. This will be going on for a little bit during the, the uh, during the video, but later on in the videos it will disappear. So I hope you guys can endure that and I hope you guys will enjoy it then. So next, of course, we head to these well plants to find out and we already find out that things aren't... ...that up to this point this place has been very interesting, particularly just... Get up, brother. Wake up. Uh, maybe I can help? Oh, wrong button. So, oh, fuck, fuck. So I arrive at the location, of course, uh, with Stella Gosa being in a bit of a, you know, concerned about the case because the whelps are dead. Or at least some of them are. And that is because the particular zone is being infested by the wizards. Now, I'm going to be a little lore about here. The Withered are elves that have been connected to... Basically, they were the Nightborn Elves who have been so connected to the magical energies that they use that when they were cast out of the origin, out of the city where they originally came from, they are now completely dependent on whatever energies they can find, which aren't a lot. And they get it from wherever they can find any raw arcane energies, and they will use it. We have seen a similar effect happen to some of the... Uh, high elves when they became blood elves some of them became so dependent on the energies of the of the sun well that when they lost it their entire physical and mental abilities began to degradate until they well worse than degradation completely deteriorated until the point that they were barely even not even close to sanity so they are threatening the whelps and these blue dragons are not bad guys so it seems a good idea to help them so what we do is we help them out, we get rid of some withered, and at the same time, we help out with the current whelp. Uh, some of the whelps are weak, and we found out that cracked ley line and crystals helped with the fact that they could be regenerated, that they could be rejuvenated with it back to full health. It seems that simple healing doesn't work, but arcane energies revitalize them. So, you find a crystal, and we use that to re-energize them and get them back on their feet and get them to their guardians, which can keep them safe out of the hands of the Withered. Of course, that's not going to stop the Withered, because all they can think about is getting new energy, so they'll do whatever it takes to get more. But at the same time, we need to find out exactly why they're here. Well, it's obvious why they're here, but it seems that they're a little bit more organized, and we find out how that exactly works. So, while I was out there, I also found Stella Gosu, who seems to be in a bit of a bad state, who mentioned that a Nightfallen, not a Wither, but a Nightfallen, has run off with a couple of whelps into a cave, and, well, that seems like a bad thing to happen, because you never know what these guys are going to do with it, so, it seems only wise to go after it. Now, uh, before you start mentioning it already, as you saw a little bit before, I used some footage from Demon Hunters, be from my Demon Hunter, because the original footage got, um... Corrupted and there were you know connection issues back then so it, it kind of messed up the entire recording process This counts further along in this little particular part of the series. So 
uh, please stick around for this because at least you get to show uh, I get to show off some of the Demon Hunter abilities. There are not a lot of them, but they're, they're a really cool class to play if I've got to be honest. But probably one of the most interesting flashiest that one ever created. So back to the point. After that whole matter, like I said, I found still a ghost and she told me about Runus. So it's time to see what he's playing with those whelps. And if we have to, we stop it because we can't leave those whelplings in their hands. We've seen what these wither can do and then let alone what this nightfall is capable of, right? What in blazes are you doing? It is too far away. Yeah. Don't you know who I am? Oh. Wait, wait. What is that you're holding? <laughs> Quite an impressive weapon, my friend. Very painful to be hit with. You are beginning to anger me. I'll kill you. I'll rip out your heart. I'll drink the mana from your broken bones. I... I... I surrender. Oh, please, my friend, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm truly, truly sorry. Feeding on such raw energy. It clouds my judgment. I hope you can see beyond my tattered robes and... I can't use that. ...desperate behavior. I am not a monster. Watch. I, I shall prove it to you. I am not just a mana adult freak like the rest of those wretches. So what you learn that this particular nightfall and called Runus the Shamed says that he is in a more, you know, rational mind. But I'm not so sure. I was never really sure about it considering that he has a very strange attitude to the whole thing. He's rather, you know, he became, he became irrational while we were fighting him. But besides that, he didn't seem like that. But... Either way, you know, this being Blizzard and we don't, and choice isn't really a matter, we just have to go along with it for questing purposes. So I decided to bring him to the, to Senegos, of course, for further uh, investigation to this whole matter. Who is this? I am called Runus, son of Inderel, formerly of Suramar. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nightfallen. I do not trust you and your kind. I understand, good dragon. My people have earned your distrust. Allow me to make amends. Now, considering the tone that he said it, I had a feeling that this doesn't really add it up all that much. I mean, he seems sincere about the matter, but who the hell is sincere in this case? But I guess considering the circumstances and the possibility that he might be able to help us at the moment, he was a good means to an end. So it only seemed logical that we'd simply allow to humor ourselves and let him help us until at least we find out exactly what the heck is going on with the ley lines around this area. Uh, you and I make a great team. Very good. Off to Zarkana, then. Off to see all my friends and family and loved ones. <laughs> to kill them, of course, for harming your dragon. Bunch of mana addicts, that lot. <laughs> Not me, though. My discipline is iron. Oh, mana crystal. Just a moment. So, why are you here, Inazuna friend? Just visiting your, uh, what? Has this one ever stopped talking? My apologies, good dragon. Oh, look, we are here. Now, I may not be an expert on addiction. I don't know any people who do. I'm not an addict myself. But I think Runus is in the sort of, you know, the stage of denial, refusing that he might have a problem. Could be me, but hey, who am I to judge? Anyway, he's at least helped us out a little bit by getting us to the location we needed to go to find out what in the hell is the problem here. Involving, of course, uh, the ley lines. Apparently, these guys have found a ley line and have been drawing the energy directly from it. This means the blue dragons aren't getting their mana food. 
this is a bad thing because they literally live on the stuff. It's dragons in World of Warcraft. It's been weird every day, so you just gotta go with it. So we have decided to help out with that little matter by getting rid of that little problem. As well as getting this guy's addiction apparently further in because he can't live without the stuff. Unfortunately, the reception is far from welcome. Interloper! You're here to steal my mana, He's aren't you? Me. Here then, have a taste! So apparently the guy in charge of this particular bunch isn't exactly helpful about us. I think this guy is so far into his addiction that he's gone into the state paranoia. Basically, he thinks that everybody's after what he what is his. But he's basically in the you know, like I said, the stage of paranoia. It's not common among addictions, as far as I know. Like I said, I'm not an expert on the case, but it's definitely that he has a problem, shall we say? So uh, we're sent in, of course, to clear the place out a bit of the problem uh, of the troublemakers here, as well as, of course, getting rid of the 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 particular ones who have been draining the energy extremely hard from this in this place which means of course causing trouble for one group by but it helps the other group the particular group that can help us so i think it's pretty obvious that we just go with it and help these guys out seems like the wisest course of action if you ask me so that just seems like the best so that involves messing up a few people getting some stuff and moving on from there So, after taking care of the first stage of the problem, which is, of course, this whole siphoning, siphoning energy thing, we go in and, well, we have to take care of the big guy in charge who's been yelling at us the whole time, which means that we need to get to him. Unfortunately, he does keep himself protected, but there is a plan to get through that little mess. It does require a little creativity, though. No secrets that would curdle your blood. I you and I make a great trust, team. Night Fallen. Wouldn't you agree? But it seems we have little choice. I only want to help, good dragon. Use the warplings then. But if you deceive me, prepare to face the wrath of a dragon flight. I was once a noble elf, good dragon. I know the meaning of honor. Did that dragon send you, interloper? Or was it that beggar, Runus? No matter. Soon you will all kneel before Azuna's new prince! Wait! What are you doing? My siphons! You low-born dirt! You don't know who you're dealing with! <laughs> So we use the whelplings to get rid of his protections and try to get to the guy to finish the job. By the way, that guy has gone completely wacky because I've never s you only go completely crazy when full retard when you start when you start laughing like that. So we make our way I make my way up there, beat the snot out of him. Unfortunately, things do not result in the way I was hoping it would. Hey, you know even the best lay plans can go awry after all. Yeah, it just really doesn't end well for anybody in this case. Well, that's actually not true, but why don't I just show you? Yes! Yes! Forget the ley lines, brother. I need to get closer. We shall feast on the dragons instead! So, as far as we can make clear, he has his uh, eyes, well, his sights set on a new prize, which is the dragons, which is bad, because these guys have been helpful, this guy hasn't. 
So we have no other choice. We gotta help these guys out before this goes from, you know, out of the frying pan and into the fire. You know, the typical saying. I'm glad you're here. I can tell you how. Look! They're headed for Grandfather's Pool! It's not too late. We'll just jump the mountains to cut them off and... No, no, they're everywhere! Hang on, we're going in low. So we arrive and it looks like we just made the situation worse because now, well, the old dragon is just covered in wyvern, which is just not cool, man. Uh, I guess we're kind of to blame here. I don't know. Luckily, we do have Khadgar with us. You don't see him right now, but he's here. But he helps. I guess having an Archmage on our side helps. So the, game, the basic premise here is very simple. Well, the situation is very simple. The, these guys are going to get fucked and we don't help them out. So there's only one thing to do in this case. We help them out. How do we do that? First of all, we need to get the guys who have gotten their asses handed to them most back on their feet. And at the same time, well, uh, solve the problem. How do you do that? Well, uh, get rid of the withered who are already swarming the area. That's not exactly a very complicated plan. So we get some of these guys up, take care of some other baggies. And apparently from uh, one of the messages... They're apparently made of withered into the cave. Or at least one of the nightfallen. Which seems problematic. And here comes the surprise that even I didn't see coming, considering what he did. Because I never really trusted the guy, but it seems maybe things I should have got the benefit of the doubt. Do let me know if you if our hunger is consuming my very mind. It is taking every ounce of my energy to just to just Can you hear me, my friend? <laughs> I, can, I, can, I cannot see you anymore. I think perhaps it is time to say goodbye then. Thank you, my friend. For letting my last few hours mean something. So, this is actually a quite of an unexpected turn because I really didn't expect it that this guy would be, you know, the guy that would do his best to help. But it seems he tried his best, but he messed up. He could actually return later on as a bad guy, but I don't think. He doesn't seem capable of in that state. Until then, though, well, there's not much we can do for him. But we can do something for the Blue Dragonflight, who are still a bit of a problem because, well, the big machine has arrived. The thing was first just sitting still at the base of that, of that ruin, but now it's up and about, and it's messing the place up a bit. So there's only one thing to do at this point, and that's making sure that that thing never moves again. So, it seems only fair that we have helped out this far. We kind of dickish if we uh, chicken out now. So, we're just going to have to give this guy the full beatdown. Luckily, as a demon hunter, that's not very hard. Of course, I also did this as a paladin. We have some of the most powerful weapons uh, ever fought possible. This should be much of a problem. His toy went down pretty easy. And he doesn't prove to be that much of a challenge either. He does a few little magical tricks, but eh, it's nothing compared to what I can do. But anyway, with this, I conclude the video. Let's first make something clear. I like this little bit of Azuna. All the zones actually have fantastic work, but this actually sort of, you know, wraps up the, well, kind of, well, not doesn't wrap up the story for the Blue Dragonfly, 
but gives it a bit more of a, you know, that they might still have a chance at least of having some impact even after Deathwing was defeated. Because after Malagos, it seemed like they were, uh, after the whole Deathwing thing, particularly, it seems like they were going to be all away. In a way, they will, but at least this gives them a chance. With that said, though, I end the video here because I think it's pretty long at this rate. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, though. Until then, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this. If you only enjoyed this video, please leave a like because that will make you great. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one, which will be the next part of the adventure log. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and until then, adios and bye-bye!